Good morning, everybody. So, I have curled my hair today. We're gonna see how long that lasts. I don't think very long, but I've sprayed it, so we're just gonna cross our fingers. Anyway, I'm sure you can tell from the thumbnail and the title today, I'm gonna be only eating pink. And the weirdest coincidence, it's actually Wednesday. So on Wednesday, we wear pink, and we eat only pink in this household. We don't, but I'm just saying. Now, I feel like I did a really, really, really good job of shopping for this stuff because I thought pink was gonna be really hard to shop for. I thought I'll only really find pink in like the sweet section. Apart from that, I don't know how much pink I'm gonna find. I found, ladies and gentlemen, loads of freaking pink and I'm so excited about it. I even found pink shortbread. Since when has that been a thing? I found pink pancakes. I found pink sponge roll pink custard, and that's not even the half of it. Half of the stuff is in the fridge and in the freezer. I also feel like I've got way too much food to eat today. I got really excited and just filled the trolley, but we're gonna go through, we're gonna try everything. There are a lot of things here that I've never tried before. For example, beetroot dressing. Don't know how that's gonna go. I'm hoping for the best with this. On my previous Only Eating Black video, some of you said I was being a little harsh with the terms and conditions, and you thought it was okay to use food coloring here and there. So I bought some pink food coloring. The only thing I think I need it for is my dinner, because I found red pasta. Now I'm thinking if I have that with the pink sauce, but just add a teeny bit of pink just in case it needs it. But other than that, everything's pink anyway, and I feel freaking great. And I also got prawn cocktail, which I don't think I'm gonna like, but I bought it, and we're just gonna hope for the best. So, I have had my breakfast. I will insert the clip of me eating my breakfast. I don't look quite like this. I've gotten ready since. <laughs> but there's a clip of me eating my breakfast, and then there'll be some clips of me shopping for this food, and then I'm gonna get started on some pancakes. morning. It's breakfast time and I'm only eating pink for the day. So Cocoa Pops, pink milk, excuse this, I don't really care. I'm very intrigued. These are apparently strawberry and white chocolate flavour which sounds delicious. So there goes nothing. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, wow. This is a lot thicker than milk. It doesn't mix like milk does. Pink breakfast. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. Today's gonna be a good day. This will work nicely. Pink pickled slaw. I was just looking for ham, but ham with cheese in it, that'll do. There are so many fruits that I keep thinking, all oh, pink, but they're just all red. I see no pink, I see red. These count, surely. Would you call them pink? I'm gonna call them pink. I'm blooming having some. I'm having them. They're pink for me. Oh, I could try some kombucha. Oh, I blooming love these. Not necessarily this flavor. I've never had dragon fruit and uzu but we'll try it. Nick's just found this power sour. So we're gonna, I'm gonna shop this. When I thought I was doing this video, I knew I'd get petit pois. Yes, please. <gasps> they look fun. Yep. Where is the oh, munch bunch? Shut up, did they? No, they didn't. <gasps> Where are the munch bunch? Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna put this with my breakfast cereal. I bloomin' love nerds. You're a nerd. Oh. <laughs> okay, they're definitely not pink, they're red, but I'm thinking this with some red sauce, but with cream to run down the red sauce, it might be pinkish. Dun, 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 dun. My breakfast. Look at these. Mm. Oof. Hello. Okay, turns out pink's a lot easier to shop for than I thought, although doesn't look the healthiest, does it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nicholas, what are these? One of each, please. <laughs> look, the pigs. This is where you come if you want anything to do with pigs. Look at the little piggies. <gasps> Should I eat off pink stuff? Oh, I shall have a little pink plate to eat off. Look at this. Party pig 
pink pancakes. <gasps> it is actually pink. Yeah, it's a pink Swiss it. roll. Okay, yes please. Can I get this? Because I haven't tried these. But I can just... <gasps> uh oh, that was such a loud noise. I am embarrassed. Can we walk away now? Okay, so we're gonna jump straight into these now. These are from M&S and M&S have a Percy Pig range. So I've always known that M&S have Percy Pigs, like the little pink Percy Pig sweeties. But recently, they now have a whole range, as in they have a whole section of Percy Pig. I'm very excited to try some pink pancakes because I know for a fact I would ruin it if I made these myself. And I've just looked on the back. You can toast these. We're gonna put them in my pink toaster. Go on then, why not? Everything's pink today. Oh my gosh. I thought they were just gonna be, I just didn't even think about the flavor. I thought they were just gonna be colored pink. They smell like strawberries and slight Percy Pig sweets. I'm just gonna try a bit like this. Ooh, they've got things in them. They don't look very pink from the bottom, but from the side, definitely pink. They're good. They're not very strong. Mmm, those little dots are like jam, maybe? That's tasty. Mm hmm These are good. I'm gonna put this in the toaster. While that's in the toaster, I need to mention this. Completely unsponsored, but I'm about to go off on a rant. You all know, Bloomin' Love Galaxy Bar. It is my favorite chocolate, and I have forever said that. They've just released a range. There's three of them. There's this one, there's this one, and there's this one. So this one is dark chocolate with raspberry meringue. This one is just dark chocolate. And then this one, this is actually our third bar of this stuff. It is so good. It is blonde chocolate with sea salt. It is just, oh my gosh. It's slightly caramelly, which I wasn't expecting. I don't normally love caramel, but this, oh my goodness. Uh, and we've already gone through three bars. So not today, don't worry. I haven't eaten any today because it's not pink, but we went shopping the other day and since then we've eaten three bars. It's delicious. If you get a chance, get some. This should be ready. Why haven't you popped? I'm going to serve this on my Peppa Pig plate. Da -da -da -da. I am four years old. To be honest, I'm not going to use the plate. I'm just going to hold this. Mm, this is good. Mm -hmm. Highly, highly recommend. They have nailed this. Right, it's lunchtime. Now I have a very weird little array of things for lunch, but they're pink. So I have a little uh, Vit Hit Immunity, which is dragon fruit and yuzu, uzu? I'm not too sure, but it's basically a vitamin drink. It's pink and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna try this. Mm. Already smells great. Hello, we'll be buying this again. I am a big fan of this. Now, along with that, I have some prawn cocktail. Now, I'm not against prawns. They're actually one of the few seafoods that I'm kind of okay with, but I like them hot. I don't mind them cold, but it's more of a mental thing that I'm gonna get sick from them because they're not cooked. And so even though I'm pretty certain this is fine, part of me mentally is like, Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know 100% if I remember what a prawn cocktail tastes like. I don't even know 100% if I've had one before, but knowing my memory, probably have, don't think I have. I don't really know what it's meant to taste like, to be honest, but we're gonna go for it. So here it is. It is pink. Oh no. It's like very liquidy. There's a lot of water. Nick's skipping outside. <laughs> Ignore that. Smell a little like crab sticks. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I'm brave enough. I feel like I'm not a fussy eater, but then when I come to film these videos, I'm always like, oh, I don't really like fish. I don't really like, but well, it's mainly fish. <laughs> I wanna get one that's like really buried in this goop. Okay, here we go. We've got a prawn. <laughs> We've got a live one. It's just, it really does smell really fishy. Okay, here we go. It goes nothing, pink food, yay. I don't think it's for me. It tastes like a mix between crab sticks and tuna mayo. Tuna mayo is fine in a sandwich. I feel like I wouldn't eat it just like this. 
So maybe if I put this in a sandwich, I might be okay with it. But just like this, it is very fishy. Not really a fan. It's okay though, because I know Nick likes prawn cocktail, so he can have that. The next thing I got, I have tried before, and I'm blooming excited to have again. So these are uh, Edam cheese wrapped in ham. That makes it pink. I don't care that that cheese isn't pink. It's wrapped in pink ham. I'm gonna take that as a yes. How do you open these? Why have you made this so hard to open? Hello? Actually, when we've had these before, they've been from M&S and these are from Sainsbury's, so maybe I don't know how good these taste. Maybe it was a different cheese. Lunch is solved. I'm just gonna have ham and cheese for lunch. I do prefer the ones from M&S. It's just a different ham. This is Serrano ham. I think the ones in M&S are like, I think it's prosciutto ham maybe, but I do prefer the M&S ones. This is great. And the milkshake this morning and the pancakes are the best bits so far. Now, these, these are Squashums yogurt. They're Munch Bunch. Oh my gosh, okay. I didn't know these were Munch Bunch and my day has just been made because they didn't have any Munch Bunch. I only really like Munch Bunch yogurts. I'll eat some other yogurts, but Munch Bunch. Munch Bunch is the one. I don't know what it is. I think it's just because it's thicker and creamier. It's just a nicer yogurt. And we couldn't find any Munch Bunch when we were shopping. Look at this. I'm so excited for this. So I obviously can't have the strawberry one because this is red, but these ones I would call pink. These are little raspberries and look how cute they are. And I'm thinking you just open the cap and squash it in your face. Who knows? We're gonna go for this. I mean, they're called squashums. Genius. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering how much is left in there. And is this recyclable? That's how you know you're an adult when you start worrying about recycling. <laughs> These are great, they get a thumbs up. Although, I do feel like there's quite a lot of yogurt left in here that I would like to eat and can't really get to. It says these can be kept up to six hours out of the fridge. So you can pack your kid's bag, have some of these, you don't need a spoon, they shouldn't spill it down themselves. I think that's a pretty good idea, myself, personally. P.S. I realised that looked like I didn't have much food because I didn't like the prawn cocktail. Don't worry, I'm snacking on pancakes. <laughs> I'm good, I'm sorted, don't you worry about me, I'm eating my food. Three things to update you on. One, I've changed my top because I was filming a Primark TikTok type thing and then I ended up in this and I thought, hey, you know what? We're just gonna stay in it. Second thing, look how much my hair has already fallen out. Like it still looks kind of nice, I think, but it has fallen out so much. And third thing, I've been watching The Bold Type on Netflix. Such a good show, like a really easy watch show. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just really a nice, easy watch. Just really chill. Little bit of drama sprinkled in, but not like on the edge of your seat drama, just chill easy watch and I'm having so much fun but the boss on there the woman who is the boss she's amazing if I ever have a boss and it's not her I don't want it and the script writers have just got all the characters just perfect so yes been watching that it is now a little bit later and I'm gonna make these so these are Betty Crocker which means I'm hoping I'm just popping it into a bowl adding just add butter do we have butter we have butter, okay, we're all good. We're shoving it into a tin, pushing it down, and we should have pink shortbreads. Now, I'm hoping they come out like this. Part of me is thinking they're gonna come out slightly browned. So I'm gonna make sure that the oven is low, and we're gonna make these. Nick wants to try one of these, so I'm gonna open them. I'm only allowed to have the pink side. They're delicious, but I'd rather the real thing. So these are little fruit salad softies. Um, if you haven't tried little fruit salad general sweets, they're delicious. These are nice, but I don't know if it's because I'm not eating the orange side, but they're not as nice. And I don't know if they're better if you eat the whole sweet, but the pink side isn't as nice. Hello, I'm back. We're gonna be making some shortbread. We need 120 grams of softened butter. Oh, oh, actually, Jasmine to the rescue. I put this butter to one side for a different video that I'm filming, but I'm gonna have to use this now because that's soft and the butter in the fridge is really not. So this will have to do as my tin. 
this is all we can do. Preheat the oven, done. Grease a 20 by 20 square tin. Line the base with baking paper. Can do. Wait, grease it and then line it, or grease it or line it? Stir the shortbread mix and the butter into a medium bowl until combined. So about half of this. That's a lot of butter. Oh, well this bowl is way too small. We are stirring shortbread mix and a butter with a wooden spoon until just combined. Oh, I see little pieces of white chocolate in here. Really, really didn't, didn't. Oh, okay, it's going everywhere. Also, this is not pink. I've just realized, not pink at, at all, in any way. Am I meant to add pink to make it pink or is it meant to be pink? This bowl is too small. I might just tip it onto the work surface because do you know what? <gasps> it's gone on the floor. Some of it's gone on the floor. I mean, this is a mess and a half and this table is wobbling because the legs haven't been put on properly. Use your hand to fully mix to form a soft dough. Press dough into a uniform layer. We're just gonna go for it. I don't think I've ever done such a bad job with a simple cake mix. I've put that into the tin and I don't even think it's the right size. So I'm just a real mess. There's stuff on the floor and I don't, it doesn't even look pink. I've just had news from Nick. He said, actually that prawn cocktail wasn't very good and it was quite fishy. So I'll give prawn cocktail a go another time from yeah, somewhere prawn else. Cocktail, Chris, nice. But also this is delicious. This is really great. It's seeing me through. Nick's making himself a coffee. The uh, shortbread's in the oven. I think it's got a minute or so left. I've had a lot of just sugar and f like coloring today. I think most things that I've had are beetroot coloring because we obviously live in the UK and that's what they use instead of artificial colors. But it's still like a lot of sugary sweetness and I've only got more <laughs> coming. Let's see how these are getting on. Nick, they're not pink. What? <laughs> they're not pink. Well, that's not pink at all. That, it, the, the, the box lied to me. That's pink. That's full on pink. I don't understand. Was I meant to add coloring? Because if I was, they could have made it more obvious. Right, well, I can't have any then, can I? <laughs> but it smells nice. Right, so this just isn't pink. It looks like the slightest shade of rose on the camera. Let me just show you in the light. That's brown. <laughs> That's just fully brown. I think I might whip this out. Or some meringues. I don't really like meringues. We're gonna get some of this down me. At least that's a bit of carbohydrate. I'm getting a little bit peckish, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, this is pink. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at this. That's pink, happy. Good Percy pig. I'm gonna get myself some custard and hope that this is also pink. <laughs> Please be pink. I would really, really love this to be pink. It looks like it might be. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. And I'm gonna have some Swiss roll. Is it a Swiss roll? It just says sponge roll. Are they not allowed to call it a Swiss roll? It's got sprinkles on it and everything. Does custard go with Swiss roll? Uh, yeah, any sponge related dish. <laughs> this is all I've wanted, ever wanted in life. Right, so this is my lunch. This is all I've got. <laughs> Let's see if it's actually nice though, because I will be devastated if not. I'm actually getting a bit sick of strawberry flavoring. <laughs> not gonna lie. Delicious, more strawberry. It's like everything I've eaten today is the same flavour. There's nothing, oh, well, apart from the prawn cocktails, which are just fish. Everything else is sugar caked cake. I've just remembered, I've got stuff in the fridge. Wait, I haven't actually looked in the fridge. I can have a little piece of ham. <gasps> Wait, I have some kombucha. Okay, I have some slaw. <laughs> that must be slightly healthy at least. Right, we've got some slaw and we have a power shot. I've just eaten cake and it's very heavily sweet and strawberry, but this is definitely not, won't go. Gonna give my taste buds a bit of a shock, but I got some pink pickled slaw. It, <coughs> it really, really, oh, it's gone off. Devastation has occurred. It went off yesterday and it really stinks. <laughs> um, can't be eating that. Was really excited to just have something healthy. But, okay, final thing, we've got a power shot. I genuinely have eaten too much strawberry flavoring today. I don't think this is gonna be strawberry flavored. It says on it, power sour. Scaring me a little bit that it's got the word sour on it, but it's fruit and vegetable juices with vitamins. This is what it looks like. I'm a bit nervous, but hey, this is probably gonna be the most nutritious thing I've had all day. Actually, apart from this, I'm not even gonna smell it. I'm just gonna go whole in one. Three, two, 
was not really sour. There's a hint of sour, but actually that was fine. I feel like I'm getting all of my nutrition today from juices. Okay, I am officially hungry. Like, really, really hungry. We're quickly popping out, and then when I come back, I'm going to have pasta. And I couldn't be more excited for pasta, because I'm just so hungry. So I'm having pasta, um, and I'm putting with it some pink salmon. Love a little bit of salmon. There's a fish I like, salmon. Um, and then I'm gonna have this as like a dip. I was going to mix it, but I'm so hungry at this point, I don't want to ruin the meal. So I'm gonna cook that put this in and hope that, that I can get some food in me because I'm hungry now. And we're back home. We're not gonna talk about it. Pointless trip out. Haven't really eaten today. A little bit hangry, so Nick had to put up with that. Jasmine is gonna feed herself. So I have some red lentil pasta, which is as close to pink as I could find. I'm gonna add some food coloring. I'm gonna put pretty much this whole bag in. This is dreamy beetroot dressing. Let's try a little bit. I don't know, you know. I think it could be good. Okay, this could be okay. I could have a decent dinner. I've added some food coloring. We can only hope, although it's, it just doesn't look pink at the moment. It looks very much ready orange. Okay, dinner time. Couple of things to mention. Number one, got a little innocent smoothie here. Very, very excited for this. Strawberries and bananas. Yes, please. Delicious, couldn't ask for more. Yummy. Salmon on my plate, that is pink. I added pink food coloring to the pasta and it's come out pretty pink. Also, this is a small portion. I've done it just for the sake of having a pink bowl. I'm just gonna pour a little bit on the side. Oh, it does look dreamy. It does look really good. And we're just gonna try a little bit of this. I've eaten so much sweet pink food that I thought that because the pasta was pink, it would be sweet. Turns out, doesn't actually taste like normal pasta. Tastes like health food. Forgot that it was red lentil pasta. Just saw red pasta and went for it. Genuinely tastes quite lentily. I don't know how else to explain it. However, I feel like this actually adds a little bit of niceness to it more than the lentil pasta. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of this on. So this is my dinner. Um. I hope you're all having fun at home with your lovely dinner, whatever that may be. I am having lentils in the form of pasta. Mm. I do like salmon. Also, for Nick's dinner tonight, he has katsu curry. I've got this. Absolutely full of regrets. It is not that bad at all, and I think it will fill me up. This is actually really nice. I can imagine this on a salad. It also just looks pretty. The sun has come out a little bit. I'm so happy. I'm actually sat in bed. I don't want to sit in the office when the sun is on this side of the house and Nick's downstairs working in the office, in his office, which is the living room. So I'm just kind of sat in bed where it's sunny and I've got some pink nerds to open. Um, here we go. Slide, oh, here we go. I did not do a good job of this. Just let's just rip you out nicely. We're open now. And I could have some nerds, some little pink nerds. Pink nerds for a nerd. Ooh, that is a sugar hit. I also have this, raspberry kombucha. To be honest, I don't even know what I've heard people saying about it. I just know I've heard the word kombucha. Here we go. So, I have no idea what this is gonna taste like aside from raspberry. <gasps> nerds have gone all over the bed. Oh no, the more I try and clean them, the more they're spilling. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just, they're all under me. I don't really know anything about kombucha. Nick said something about it being good for your gut. It doesn't say anything on there about that. Let's go for it. Bottoms up. I mean, it tastes nice, but what are we raving about? <laughs> it tastes good, but please let me know what it's meant to be good for because I feel like people rave about this. It's okay. I feel like I'd prefer water and some nerds. Mm -mm -mm. I completely forgot. Wait, in the freezer, I found pink magnums and the classic mini milk. I'm gonna have one of these this evening, but in the last of today's sunshine, which is minimal. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna have a pink magnum. 
<gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> fancy, fancy. Wear neck shoes. Socks and sandals. Why not? Sun, wait for me. <laughs> Sunshine. This is the only spot in the garden that has sun. The rest is uh, very much in the shade. <sighs> yes, I have my SPF on. Yes, I've got a pink ice cream. I'm gonna end this here. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon. I'm gonna enjoy my ice cream. Bye. <laughs>